The Grenada Bureau of Standards, responsible for improving Grenada's national quality infrastructure, will celebrate its 35th anniversary on Thursday, July 25th. Director of the Bureau, Robert Medford, spoke with the GIS and explained that the organization is overseen by a standards council, which acts as its board of directors. He shared that the Bureau has made significant progress over the past 35 years. The notable accomplishments would be the actual development of Grenada's national quality infrastructure. For when the Bureau started, um, our focus was mainly on standards, um, development of standards, promotion of standards, use of standards. We then evolved on the Metrology Act where we became responsible for weights and measures, um, was now under our portfolio. So we have to verify every measuring and weighing instrument used in trade annually. So that was the main focus up to 1997. But in the late 2000s, we started developing our laboratories and those have evolved. So one of the major achievements of the Bureau is the development of its laboratories. And as I said, in 2016, the Bureau's analytical chemistry lab was the first laboratory within a Bureau of Standards in the OECS to be ISO IEC 17025 accredited. And we have continued to build on this um, evolvement of the labs. Medford talked about how their accreditation for testing and calibration laboratories now allows Grenada to conduct its tests locally, saving money by not having to send them abroad. ISO IEC 17025 is the international standard for the competence of testing and calibration laboratories. So we are a testing laboratories, so we have demonstrated sufficiently that we have a quality management system in place and we have the competence to perform a particular set of tests that we are accredited for. So once our, we do those tests, it is recognized internationally. So that would be able to facilitate trade. It reduces the burden on our producers, exporters here to seek those testing services overseas that may be more expensive. So we're developing the capacities on island in order to facilitate trade. He also mentioned that the Bureau will continue to educate local entrepreneurs about its role and services. They appreciate what we are doing and we are still relevant. Um, so we are always open to persons coming to us, telling us, you know, this is their need. And once we identify the demand and the resources, we look to address those needs. But we cannot address every single need because it is very resource intensive. So we have to address the priority needs. And the priority needs is to make sure that Grenada has an adequate suite of service to support its quality infrastructure. 